Next, let's talk about Pindolol. Pindolol is used to treat high blood pressure, either on its own or in combination with other medications. Lowering high blood pressure is important because it can help prevent strokes, heart attacks, and kidney problems. Pindolol is a type of medication called a beta blocker. It works by blocking the effects of certain natural substances, like epinephrine, on the heart and blood vessels. This ultimately leads to a decrease in heart rate, blood pressure, and strain on the heart. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking Pindolol may vary, so it's important to consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. When taking Pindolol, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Usually, it's taken twice daily by mouth, with or without food. The dosage will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. It may take one to two weeks before you start to feel the full benefit of the medication, so it's important to keep taking it even if you start to feel better. Even if you don't feel sick, it's important to use this medication regularly in order to get the most benefit from it. Try to take it at the same times each day to help you remember. If you notice that your condition isn't improving or it gets worse, such as an increase in your routine blood pressure readings, be sure to inform your doctor. When starting Pindolol, you may experience dizziness, weakness, or nausea as your body gets used to the medication. If these side effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. Pindolol may reduce blood flow to your hands and feet, causing them to feel cold. Smoking can make this effect worse, so it's best to avoid tobacco use and dress warmly. To lower the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, make sure to get up slowly when transitioning from a sitting or lying position. It's essential to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, if you notice any new or worsening symptoms of heart failure, changes in your fingers slash toes slash nails, hair loss, mood changes, muscle slash joint pain, numbness slash tingling, vision changes, or severe dizziness slash fainting, it's important to contact your doctor right away. While a serious allergic reaction to Pindolol is rare, seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. If you're in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. If you have been taking Pindolol, it's important not to stop taking it suddenly without consulting your doctor. Stopping suddenly could make some conditions worse and even lead to chest pain, heart attack, or irregular heartbeat. If your doctor determines that you should stop taking Pindolol, they may instruct you to gradually decrease your dose over one to two weeks. While gradually stopping Pindolol, it's a good idea to limit physical activity temporarily to reduce strain on the heart. If you experience chest pain, tightness, pressure, or pain spreading to the jaw, neck, or arm, along with unusual sweating, trouble breathing, or a fast or irregular heartbeat, seek medical help right away. Before taking Pindolol, be sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, including any conditions like breathing problems, diabetes, heart issues, or thyroid problems. Pindolol can make you dizzy, so it's best to avoid alcohol or marijuana while taking it. If you're planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor about all the medications and products you're using. Pindolol may also affect your blood sugar levels, so it's essential to monitor your levels regularly if you have diabetes. Additionally, older adults may be more susceptible to certain side effects of this medication. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you should discuss the potential risks and benefits with your doctor before using Pindolol. When taking Pindolol, it's important to be aware of potential interactions with other medications. These interactions can affect how your medications work and may increase your risk of experiencing serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this list with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor. 
Some products that may interact with pindolol include clonidine, epinephrine, fingolimod, and thioridazine. Additionally, some products contain ingredients that could raise your heart rate or blood pressure. It's important to inform your pharmacist about all the products you are using and ask for guidance on how to use them safely, especially cough and cold products, diet aids, and NSAIDs such as ibuprofen or naproxen. It's crucial to be mindful of potential interactions and to seek advice from your healthcare professionals to ensure the safe and effective use of Pindolol. If someone has taken too much Pindolol and is experiencing serious symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the United States, you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of Pindolol overdose may include a very slow heartbeat, severe dizziness or fainting, and slow or shallow breathing. When taking Pindolol, it is important not to share this medication with others. In addition to taking the medication, lifestyle changes such as stress reduction programs, exercise, and dietary changes may increase the effectiveness of this medicine. It is important to discuss with your doctor or pharmacist about lifestyle changes that might benefit you. It is also important to have your blood pressure checked regularly while taking this medication. Make sure to discuss with your doctor how to monitor your own blood pressure and pulse. Furthermore, it is recommended to have lab and or medical tests, such as blood pressure, liver function, done while you are taking this medication. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of Pindolol, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing Pindolol, make sure to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. It's important not to store it in the bathroom and to keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of Pindolol, don't flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure about how to do this, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.